What is up folks, Jorge Nito here. Thanks for stopping by and welcome back. My friends, today we'll be discussing the slight off and just the experience as a whole. Um, as you all remember, um, it was a friendly competition between me and Reed Ferry. Yes, absolutely, it was a friendly competition. You'll remember um, that Reed reached out to me and he said, Hey, do you want to do this, this battle of slights? Uh, we'll call it the slight off. You know, we had the, we had the rules. Uh, we each assigned the other three slights, and they have to, no matter what, include those three slights in their effect. We had a series of three episodes, and my friends, I'm just going to discuss how I kind of feel about each episode. I'll discuss what I think about Reed's material, uh, what I like most, what I like most about my own, and just kind of offer some thoughts of reflection uh, here on this. So, yeah, let's get into it. Now, this was the very first effect that Reed put out. I believe that he titled it a lapping demonstration. And I really, really enjoyed this. I thought he was really smooth with the handling. I thought he um, handled, you know, the the routine in a, in a clever way. And I, I can say pretty confidently that this is my favorite of his. And after, I mean, you know, like me and him have both said before, when we uploaded, you know, the videos, we, we do it at the same time. So, you know, we uploaded episode one at the very same time. And I remember the first time that I viewed this and I thought, wow, I'm I'm in trouble. If this is what I have to look forward to, um, wow, I, I'm in a bit of trouble. So I think just, you know, I really enjoy these packet tricks. Um, I don't do much myself, but I do enjoy it. There's something about just a minimal number of cards in your hands, absent from the deck, that kind of, I don't know, to me, adds to the impossibility factor. So, yeah, um... Right there, he just executed a roundhouse change, which was one of the slides that I gave to him. And he did a good job. I, brilliant effect. Uh, like I said, this is my favorite of Reed's. I had mentioned this before, but when me and Reed signed out to do this, the whole idea was not to trip each other up, to not give each other something that's just so difficult we can't ascertain the handling of a certain slide within a week. I mean, so it has to be within reach, right? At the same time, we want to challenge and push ourselves creatively. And so I think we, we, we tiptoed on that line a few times, especially there toward the end. Um, I know I did, and I know he certainly did too, as far as giving the other um, the slights. Um, in general, I think we, we both handled things pretty well. Uh, but yeah, we, you know, I, I don't want to give a marketed slight or something you know, to, to him, and then he has to go buy it to learn it, and then it's, well, and at the same time, I don't want to give something like uh, the uh, the slip shift, something that takes, you know, years to actually get down, right? So I did debate giving him the clip shift there on the last one, but, uh, you know, it didn't go that way. Uh, but anyway, so um, as far as Reed's material, his effects, I really felt that that first one was really strong. The third effect, the gambling demonstration that he came out with, uh, episode three, that was that was right there. That was really good. Um, the mediocre performance, I thought, was the second one. And I believe that in that, he, um, the whole ploy was like it, it was a practice session. And so he was kind of, you know, it was a fall practice se session. And I just kind of thought that there was a little bit of mediocrity. And this is just friendly criticism. Uh, Lord knows there's plenty to criticize me on. Uh, but, you know, I have to remember, and we all have to remember, we only had a week to come up with something. And so even with that, I still enjoyed Reed's second episode, um, his second effect. Um, I did think it was interesting. It was a different approach, and yeah, I admire the uniqueness of it, uh, but I just thought that maybe there could have been a little bit more, so enough said about that. Now, as far as my favorite effect of my own material, this was an effect that I called, this was episode two of mine, and this was 
um, a title that I came up with on the fly called A Little Help Here. And the idea was to have the jokers laid out, um, the spectators select a card, it's lost in the deck, and then through there's four phases of me just basically finding the card, the first being a color change, then there's two card from dribbles, and then there's a joker extraction at the end. Um, this is the one that I had the most fun on. This is the one that I, I, you know, to this day enjoy the most. And so, yeah, this is what I would go for. Now, the Tribute Aces, which was the the third installment of the Slight Off, I had a lot of fun with that, too. Uh, but when it comes down to it, I think this one is just really practical. This is something that I would do, you know, physically in front of an audience or in front of a spectator. Um, it took a lot of time to actually get the handling down just right. And even so, you, there's still some small flashes in this one. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, I, I do like this. I had a lot of fun with it. So this was my favorite performance. So the first effect that I came out with, ep uh, sl uh, bleh, the Slight Off Episode 1, was the Abrasive Ace. And I think that was too ambitious. As far as practicality... It's just not there. It involves a table index. You know, it just it just wouldn't work out very well. Now, as far as Zoom or like video calls, I think it would be perfect, right? Because how are they going to inspect anything, right? <laughs> when they're across the camera. Uh, but, you know, and also, you know, the patter. I think I lost some people on the patter. Um, my performance style is kind of whimsical. I kind of just, you know, I don't take it real serious. Um, I do, in a sense, as far as learning the slides, but I just have uh, more of a whimsical approach. And so that was where the pattern, I think, came from. And I believe that I lost some people on that. They had a hard time following what was happening. Um, so, you know, looking back on that, I could see where I could definitely refine my pattern, understand the audience a little bit better, uh, try to consider other people's approaches to, you know, uh, taking in the pattern, receiving the information, and just look at, look at different ways of saying things, basically. You know, it's really that simple. Different approaches to pattern. Uh, that's something that I could always, you know, always take a look at. Um, so I think that one was my least, least favorite one. Um, I think it was ambitious, but yeah, there, there was a lot of work that could be done on that one. So, uh, all the criticism for me, I think, would fall on that video. Um, the second one, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the the little help here where the Joker's out on there. I just did a lot of fun with that. And then the third one, which was the Tribute Aces, that was actually a lot of fun, too. When it comes to these slight off videos, I feel like I, I had AD, ADD, you know, attention deficit disorder. I just had a million ideas uh, that were, you know going many different directions, right? Ended up landing uh, one way. And so, you know, with, with the tribute aces, I think the main thing was how to produce each ace. And, you know, it, it has to make sense. It has to, you know, represent a certain magician style because I wanted each ace, each production to represent, you know, a or to pay homage to a certain magician. So we had Ernest Eric, Leonard Green, uh, Chris Ramsey, and somebody else. Gosh, I don't even remember. Wow. But, uh, yeah, there were so many, many memorable moments in that effect for me that, 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 you know, I say the second performance was my favorite, but that, that last one, I really had a lot of fun with that too. So, you know, I, looking back on the experience, it was a great experience. I know that, uh, me and Reed, we had a lot of fun. There were some times for me that it was very stressful because, and I know it was for Reed too, it had to have been because our schedules were really tight at the time. I was working a lot, actually still am, uh, but just finding the time to dedicate and really put in the hard work, um, I was just having having a little bit of a hard time doing that, but at the end of the day, it did work out. Uh, things Things panned out. So, yeah, it was a great experience, and, you know, I think we could ask ourselves the question, should the slight off continue, or should it be left as it is? And I think the answer, for me, is a resounding yes. I think it should continue. 
Um, I like the idea of instead of doing three episode installments, like a series of three, that may be just a, a one-off episode. I mean, more than just one, but just, you know, a single episode where we, you know, agree on the rules, whether it be, you know, whatever they are, you, the uses of lifelines, um, you know, giving each other themes or plots, assigning different things other than just three three slides. You know, maybe we want to, we want to assign a restriction or something like that. There, there's many ideas that me and Reed have. And yes, we want to continue the slide off. So in the near future, uh, look forward to some more episodes of the slide off coming your way. It was a great experience and I want it to continue. And uh, let me know in the comments what you thought of the slide off. Uh, me and Reed, we definitely appreciate all feedback, all your comments, criticisms. Uh, we appreciate it all because it really does uh, mean a lot to hear from you guys. It encourages us. Um, I know it does for me for sure. So guys, there you have it. That's my little bit of a reflection piece on the slide off. Have a good rest of your day. Jorge Anito here. Oh, you know, let me say this. Uh, run over and check out Reed Ferry. He has a video where he's offering reflection too. So make sure you run over and check out what he has to say because he's going to be discussing some things that uh, he wants to offer reflection on too. So check out Reed Ferry. I'll leave a link in the description below. Without further ado, I can't say that at the end of the video, can I? All right. Uh, guys, I'm out of here. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.